is CBS 4 News tonight. As the demand for testing increased in recent weeks, we saw smaller sites opening up, offering those highly sought after swabs. But as some experts explain, not every testing site is created equal. CBS 4's Joel Waldman joins us live from North Miami with what you need to know. Joel. Elliot and Lauren, we're in front of a North Miami testing site, as you just mentioned, city run. But of course, as you also mentioned, you've seen those pop up tents just about everywhere, especially if you go up and down Biscayne Boulevard in this part of town. But now medical experts are warning against going to some of them, giving people just one more thing to worry about during this already very long pandemic. You tired of COVID yet? I'm very tired of COVID. I've had about 20 COVID tests. With no break from the pandemic, break shops are now home to pop-up COVID testing sites. They're also just a stone's throw from public storage and on the side of busy streets. I think this whole thing got out of control. Have you noticed all these pop-up testing sites and are you nervous going to those? No, those are the ones I normally go to. But you might want to think twice, warns a former Miami-Dade Health Department medical director. When there's a surge, and there's a way to make money, they'll pop up. People are scared, they'll have customers. But what most customers don't know is many of these sites are unlicensed with non-FDA approved test kits purchased online from places like Mexico or China, some even expired. Here's what the good doctor suggests is an even better idea. The site should be a medical facility, whether it is run by the county or by an urgent care center or a hospital or a reliable lab like Quest or LabCorp. Those are the sites that you want to go to. Officials at both the Miami-Dade and the Broward County Health Departments admit they're too overwhelmed to conduct proper oversight. And while they declined our offer to go on camera, they did suggest using county websites to find properly vetted testing locations, not pop-up sites. It's a little disturbing that they're might not be licensed or reliable. There's a lot of COVID confusion and a lot of COVID fatigue, right? Yeah, I think uh, it's been handled wrongly from day one. Well, we tried to clear up some of that confusion, so we also reached out to the Florida Department of Health, and they suggest using this state-run website, which is floridahealthcovid19.org. Once again, Florida Health COVID 19 Dot org. Reporting live in North Miami, Joel Waldman, CBS 4 News.